favorite chefs in history joining us here at HSN starting on Thursday into Friday. Now, I do a show every Friday. I'm either in the kitchen or, <laughs> or I'm in the house. Uh, actually, I'm going to be in the kitchen starting at 7 o'clock on uh, Friday. And it's a special 24-hour, a special 24-hour cooking event. Emerald is back. The network is buzzing. Emerald's going to uh, be here, of course, via Skype. Wolfgang's going to be here via Skype. Um, of course, Chef Curtis Stone is going to be here via Skype. We've got a big, big day planned. In fact, I'm going to be messing around in the kitchen, creating shenanigans of my own once I get off the air here. So hopefully you can join me on Fridays. And this one in particular will be near and dear to my heart because my, the, my, the kitchen is my favorite room to be in. It is. Mike, do you have uh, Mike Nizak, of course. I love to cook. Do, you know what, you do, you are, you're, you have Epicurean tastes. I mean, we've talked a lot about food in, a, in our day. Mm -hmm. um, and you yeah. are not only Epicurean when it comes to food, but of course, Mike Nizak, if you were meeting him for the first time, I, I always say he is the king of coins and not the only one who does because you have really created so many groundbreaking things in the world of coin collecting, not the least of which you do and you honor for our, our curated collectors here at HSN. This is the last scheduled show for the year, the la well, the last hour for the year. So the last hour for the year. We'll probably give you maybe a little highlight reel, some of the things if you are channel surfing or missed last hour, you can always go to hsn.com. All right, so we, were, we talked a little bit about Morgan and Peace dollars last hour, but now we have a different set to, to kick off this hour. Can, can you share some of the details, Mike? Well, this is the same six coin Morgan silver dollar set, okay? Uh, but it's not the advanced release, not the NGC advanced release. Gotcha. So this is our annex our early release that you have right here. You have first release annex. So it's the six coin annex set, but we did something else. And you can see it's, as I told you, I mean, if you don't get that advanced release designation, you know, it, you can save some money. And so that's what we have here. But here's one of the cool things that we decided to do with this set. The first coin up there on the top left, that's one of the original 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar. Oh, wow. That's a really good one. That's the 100 year old. That's not reprinted, restruck, or redone. That's an original 1921 Morgan. So when we have the brand new 2021 Morgans, you put them side by side. And you can see right there, when you see those, you can see how true the design is to the original coin itself. And so there you go. Just put those side by side if we can, and let's take a, if we can, let's take a look at that. So you can see that they really honor the design of George T. Morgan, that you can see it's really the same exact coin that's just been <clears throat> done the way he intended it. It's just the difference between a hundred year old coin and a brand new coin, you can see the jawline, the hair, everything, exactly the same, e pluribus unum, the stars, the date, all of it is exactly identical that we're gonna have right there. So you're gonna have that, I think is just absolutely spectacular. So we included one of the original Morgan silver dollars. <clears throat> but then I've included the five brand new Morgan silver dollars. Again, all in mint state 70 condition, absolutely perfect. Now, once again, these are not the advanced release coins, but they are the coins and they're still mint state 70 and they're still perfect and they're still first release. In this particular set that you see right here, it is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. You cannot buy this any place but right here. Each one of these match numbered sets is individually numbered and there will be 300 sets and 300 sets only. That's it. So when you count that in at seven, we're less, we're $350 a coin. We're $350 a coin, as you see right there across the board for the original Morgan silver dollar uh, that you're gonna have plus the brand new uh, 2021 Morgan Silver Dollar. So I wanna go back to that. So people are going, okay, so what's this whole thing going on? <clears throat> the United States government made the Morgan Silver Dollar from 1878 to 1921. It is beyond a shadow of a doubt, the most popularly collected vintage coin in the world today. The Morgan Silver Dollar is the hallmark of virtually every major collection that has ever been put together in the United States. It has 
started more collections. It has more people collecting that on a regular basis than any other vintage coin. Now, the most popularly collected coin in the history of the United States Mint are the state quarters just because we're close to the event. I mean, they started in 1999. <clears throat> and by 1999, 90% of all the Morgan Silver Dollars ever made by the United States Mint had been destroyed, melted down, destroyed by the United States Mint and others. Or the Morgan Silver Dollar would have been the most popular. 100 years later, from its last coin, which you see right there, and that's the actual Morgan Silver Dollar from 1921, the United States government commemorates the 100th anniversary of the end of the Morgan Silver Dollar by starting to make the Morgan Silver Dollar again. And they did so by commemorating every single mint. And, and I, I say commemorating, but keep in mind, these are not commemoratives. These are actual United States coins. If you can... Uh, Shannon, take those two coins and flip them over. Okay. So the top two left coins, flip them over. Because I want to, I want you to see that it is exactly the coin. It is a coin. It's not a, it's not a, a it's not a medal or a medallion or something like that, which the United States Mint has done in the past. It is exactly a Morgan silver dollar. It is 100% a Morgan silver dollar. It is just a continuation of the series 100 years later that you can get in absolutely perfect condition. Now, here's the amazing part about this is, so you have the 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar, the original coin there. They were made from 1878 until um, uh, 1921. The rarest Morgan Silver Dollar is the 1893S. They made about 100,000 coins. In any condition, it's about a forty or $50,000 coin, really. I mean, in any decent condition. High grades are 100,000, 200,000, a million, mil $2 million for a the high grade 1893s. Then you have the 1894, and then uh, and then you have these five Morgan silver dollars. All those the, the two rarest Morgan silver dollars literally are hundreds hundreds of thousands of dollars apiece. Then the next five rarest Morgans you get right there. The next five rarest Morgan silver dollars you get right there. Not only do you get them, you get them in absolutely perfect mid state 70 perfect. So you get them in absolutely perfect mid state 70. And then, since the United States government also started making the peace dollar, started making the peace dollar in 1921, the United States government commemorated the start of the peace dollar with a 2021 peace dollar. The United States government made the peace dollar from 1921 to 1935. If you want to collect the rarest peace dollar ever made by the United States government, it's that coin right there, the top right coin, all the way over. That peace dollar, that is the rarest peace dollar ever made by the United States government with a vintage of only 200,000 coins. So in terms of this, you are looking of the more, of the silver dollars made by the United States Mint from 1878, 1878 to 1935. If you want to collect six of the eight rarest dollars from that time period through 1921, they are on that stand right there. The five Morgan silver dollars from each of the mints that the Morgan silver dollar was made, Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, Carson City, and New Orleans. And then, of course, the peace dollar, they only made one because the peace dollar in 1921 was only made at the Philadelphia Mint, was only made at the Philadelphia Mint. And so that's why there's only one peace dollar. So you've got a complete collection 100 years later of every Morgan silver dollar from every mint all dated 2021, uh, with the peace dollar also dated 2021. And as a bonus, as a bonus, we have included an original 1921 brilliant uncirculated Morgan silver dollar that is, uh, like I said, a hundred years old. So we've got the brand new set, all certified 70 perfect. Now, here's the funny thing. The 1921 down there on the end is not mid-state 70. No. Nor is it Mint State 69, nor is it Mint State 68. Because if it was Mint State 68, I'd have to add three zeros onto the end of this. It, 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 more zeros. It'd be $2 million. It'd be the highest grade in 1921 Morgan silver dollar ever. That's the other thing we finally get to get. You see the design is the same, but we finally get to see the Morgan silver dollar like it was originally made 100 years ago because it's been struck and preserved and perfect Mint State 70. That coin on the left looked like that other coin when it was made 100 years ago. Now we get the Morgan Silver Dollar as it was intended from the United States Mint. Now we get the Morgan Silver Dollar, and you get it perfect. 
any Men's State 69, Morgan Silver Dollar is $100,000 plus. Any Men's State 68 is going to be uh, is going to be $10,000 plus. Men's State 67s are going to start at $2,500 a coin. You get six Men's State 70s for $2,549.95. And by the way, we're going to insist that you take an original 1921 brilliant uncirculated Morgan Silver Dollar at the same exact time. So you get this fantastic series. You get them absolutely positively perfect. You get the original 1921 coin. And once again, every single one of these coins certified perfect, except for the original 1921. That's certified brilliant uncirculated. 300 match numbered sets available 100% exclusively from us here at HSN. This set is available no place else on the planet, but right here. This is my original issue price. It is brand new. And like I said, now you're starting to see this price in the marketplace, $25.49.95, absolutely amazing price. Add in the fact that we have an original 1921 in there as well. And I think this is an absolutely is a spectacular set. I am debuting it right here, right now. So we have all 300 sets, although obviously we have fewer than that right now. Uh, but all 300 sets available exclusively from us here at HSN. Well, and like you said, Mike, too, and just alluded to, while, while we have quantities. So certainly availability and the urgency to take action applies here. But also, we're going to help you meter out those payments. We've been talking a lot about if you're shopping at HSN for the first time, you can do those interest-free payments, PayPal, debit card, any major credit card, or if you have an HSN card, here's another one. Our financial team, financial branch here at HSN is very thoughtful about what they allocate can qualify for an 18-month VIP financing. This is one of those, in which case you're looking at a little over $141. $141.66 when you use your HSN card. Now that still means, and a lot of people ask about this, Mike, um, even if you use FlexPay, even if you do the 18-month VIP financing. Normally, it's a 30-day return window, which, by the way, that is out of the ordinary when you're doing coin collecting anywhere but HSN. But if you're shopping now for this curated collection, you actually have a money-back guarantee until the end of January. So it just gives you that a little additional umbrella of support or um, sanctity, if you will, where you can just, because we know it's a considered purchase, but you've actually got until the end of January. You don't have a lot of time to act on this, though, just because, as Mike alluded to, we don't have a lot of them. Of course, you can apply and buy as well. If, if you don't have that HSN card, we're running our best promotion when you apply and buy as well. Mike, I just, when I say that you are always so thoughtful about your, your customer, whether they're a novice, whether they're learning, whether they're an avid collector, the fact that you're including that 1921 in this really is just a clear example of how you go beyond and the extra mile to, to really support all of the collectors who are discovering you for the first time or certainly who are educated shoppers and grabbing this. And when I look at this too, Mike, that's why last hour, even when we were talking about the Morgan and the piece, there is, when most people think of a coin, when most people come to you and they say, I've got a coin collection, chances are, <laughs> you know, this is the image that they're conjuring up. And so you could almost make the case that, listen, if you're gonna collect a coin, like just in the broad spectrum of the thing, or if you're gonna collect a coin that has a, a lot of re resonance, both for coin collectors and not, probably would be these two coins, would you agree? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. I mean, the Morgan Silver Dollar has always been kind of a flagship collectible is ultimately what it comes down to in the history of American numismatics. I mean, it's what everybody aspired to collect a high-grade Morgan Silver Dollar set. But the fact is, is that would cost you millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, quite literally. <clears throat> and so now you can collect a complete, this is the complete Mint State 70 collection of the Morgan Silver Dollar. You have every single year and mint mark of the Morgan Silver Dollar that's ever been graded in perfect mint state 70s in this collection. You also have every single solitary year and mint mark of the peace dollar that is in mint state 70 condition. So all six of those coins. And so, like I said, now we're down to the fact here we have six of these coins, plus we give you the 19... 21, and I know it says 344. There's only 300 sets in that. That's a funny HSN thing where they there's there's extra things in there. So uh, uh, you know, there's only 300 sets in existence, all available exclusively from us here at HSN. And each and and the other cool thing about this is is 
Each set is individually match numbered. Each set is individually match numbered. No other grading company does that. So NGC or PCGS, you can do some stuff, right? You can get some, uh, you can get one of, but only Annex individually numbers the sets and that is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. Please understand that. You cannot get Annex first day of issue anywhere but right here. So here's the other thing that I can guarantee with this. So not only are you getting this fantastic coin set, this historic set, this set that the United States Mint has been 100 years in the making, but I can 100% guarantee you're getting the lowest price, period. Annex first day of issue, every single, so we'll sell all 300 sets here, Every single one of them is going to be $2,549.95. That's the deal, okay? Already, these are starting to go quite quickly, and let me explain to you why. So we start at $300. I'm debuting this right here. The advanced release coins, we had sold at $3,600 and sold out, and those sets have sold for as much as $5,000 or $6,000. That's that <clears throat> little subset. But this is the same exact coins in first release, which is 100% exclusive to us, this first release coin that you have right here. <clears throat> and so we have got this individually matched number. You can't get that anywhere but right here. And I didn't have to throw in the 1921. But understand, and you, you said this as we were talking earlier, Shannon. It's not just about making sure that you have the best possible quality collectible. It's making sure that the collection makes sense. And so you have this Morgan Silver Dollar that everybody has tried desperately to collect their whole life. This was the first coin that I collected. This is the coin, the Morgan Silver Dollar is literally the coin that put me through college. I collected them, I, I mean, I was like a little coin collecting demon when I was 12 years old. And I, and I used to go to the coin club uh, every Thursday, the third, Thursday was the third Wednesday, third Wednesday, I think, of every month. Took all my paperboy money, went down to there, listen to the talks about the about coins and give a lecture about coins and then I could buy Morgan silver dollars for a dollar 20 a piece okay I could buy uncirculated Morgans pick pick my dates and mint marks for a dollar 20 a piece and then years and years and years later I sold my entire collection and put myself through four years of college so I mean that's what it could do for you when you're close to the event so now these are the new Morgan silver dollars. So understand, these are not a reprint. This is not a thing. These are Morgan silver dollars, just as they were made by the United States government. Just they were released. Complete and total, utter sellouts immediately from the United States Mint. Now, we have got them certified perfect. So you have to understand, it's not just getting the coins, but it's getting them certified absolutely positively perfect. So then you're looking at exclusivity. Well, of course, the Annex first release that you see here is 100% exclusive to us. So you have the exclusivity. Then you have to have the exclusivity of presentation. That's what that is. But then you also have to look at the history of the Morgan Silver Dollar. And so to, to, to make a kind of a cogent collection out of it, I included the original Morgan Silver Dollar. The 2021s, these were the original dies as, as put out by George T. Morgan. George T. Morgan, interestingly enough, worked at the United States Mint for the better part of four decades. He got to design one circulating coin because Charles Barber and his sons were also at the United States Mint, and they designed basically everything else. And so they let poor George basically design one coin, and it turned out to be the Morgan Silver Dollar, kind of the bell cow, if you will, uh, of the United States Mint. And so when they come back and do this in this year and they only make 175,000 of each coin and it sells out in about 90 seconds uh, for each and every one of those, and they still haven't even shipped all the coins. So the fact that we've got them and, and, and that's the thing, that we can have the sets, you guaranteed the sets, you're guaranteed delivery on this. And then to get the 1921 as well, an original coin also certified brilliant uncirculated. Now you've got a set that's really that's really complete on a lot of different levels, but then we've we've approached a little more affordability. I said, I understand, kind of, uh, a, a lot of collectors buy those, bought those advanced release, those early sets that we had at NGC that were, I think, we're just about sold out of right now. Yeah. These are the same coins, actually, with the additional coin. Still certified in state 70. They're not the advanced release coin, but you save a thousand bucks. I mean, at seven coins here, you're less than 400 
dollars a coin in certified 70 condition you are less than 400 dollars a coin that carson city coin if you find that any somewhere in there the carson city privy mark that coin has sold upwards into the i've seen the carson cities at 799 899 1000 1100 1200 just for the carson city coin in mint state 70 condition same thing with the new orleans minted coin so once again and, and these are these were just being released. You know, they were sold out months ago. The United States government delayed the release, the shipping of these coins for six months. I don't know why. And you can see that's the original design, every single solitary part of this, because it's an original coin. And so when you have this, and, and if you go right next door to that, is that the one as well? Yeah, that's Carson City. They call it a privy mark. And people ask me, what does the privy mean? If you can, see how close we can get between the D and the O in dollar? The most exclusive mint mark, the most sought after mint mark by the United States Mint. I don't care the denomination, but particularly in the Morgan Silver Dollar CC, Carson City Mint. They only made the Carson City Mint. Get as close as you can between the D and the O in dollar, that little kind of blob above that. You'll see the CC. The United States Mint, since the Carson City Mint has been shut down for a century, basically, they didn't want to put the mint because it has to be made at that mint. And since the mint didn't exist, they couldn't do that. So they put the privy seal on a privy seal. It's just a little mark that they put on the coin, basically a mint mark. They just happen to call it a privy seal. So if you get in really close, you can see the CC that's right in there. That most coveted mint mark ever done by the United States government, by the way. The only time the United States Mint has done a privy mark on a silver dollar or a silver eagle or any major silver coin in the history of the United States Mint uh, like this, like uh, the, the major coins, uh, you know, whether it be a silver dollar or, or a silver eagle, pretty well, that would make them all silver dollars. Never done a privy mark on a silver dollar before like that. And so they did that with the Carson City. They did the same thing with the New Orleans Mint because the New Orleans Mint has been shut down for so many uh, decades and decades and decades as well. So you have those, so you have the Morgan Silver Dollars, one from each and every one of the mints. It's not just five Morgan Silver Dollars. It's the five Morgan Silver Dollars from the five mints that made the Morgan Silver Dollar originally. Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, uh, Carson City, and New Orleans. Now, interestingly enough, the... Denver minted coin was only made a single year prior to this. There are two Denver minted Morgan silver dollars, 1921 and 2021. That's it for the Denver mint. They only made it in 1921. From 1878 until 1921, they did not make a single Denver minted Morgan silver dollar. So they made it in 1921 and then again in 2021. So that is spectacular and collectible. So they made, so it's only the second Denver minute coin. But then I want to go back to the fact you have the historical advantage of this. You have the historical nature of the Morgan silver dollar being made again by the United States Mint. But I, I want to draw your attention again to the, to the grade. The fact that this coin is certified absolutely positively perfect. The United States government made about a billion Morgan silver dollars, the original coins from 1878 to 1921. Of course, these are original coins now, too. There are zero mint state 70s in existence, zero. In the major grading companies, there are about three dozen mint state 69s, a combined, all the grading companies combined. So high-grade Morgan silver dollars that look like this simply don't exist. It's been the purview literally of millionaires and billionaires. They were the only people that could own, you know, someone that was willing to spend $150,000 plus per coin. Those are the only people that could own perfect, because Mint State 69 is still basically considered perfect. Perfect Morgan silver dollars, you had to spend at least six figures. Now you can get the only collection of Mint State 70 poor, perfect Morgan silver dollars, one from every single solitary mint. You see them right here in absolutely perfect condition. Now you can own them. Now you can own them. And by the way, there's no Mint State 70 piece silver dollars. So you get the only piece silver dollar in Mint State 70. And by the way, with the piece silver dollar, you have to understand, I know they made them this year. And I know they look spiffy. Do not underestimate the rarity of these coins. That you're looking at right now. 
That is the rarest piece silver dollar ever made by the United States government. You can spend $100,000 on a piece dollar or $200,000 or $300,000 or $500,000, but you can't get one that's rarer and you can't get one that's in better condition. And on this one, you're basically paying less than $400. Bucks. Every single solitary one of these perfect Morgans for less than $400. You never thought that this would be possible. I never thought in my entire collecting life in my entire collecting life that I would have the opportunity to own a perfect Morgan silver dollar. Well, now I got all of them. I got one from every single solitary man. As I promise you, I have three of these sets put away. I have three of these sets put away as we speak right now. And I have two more coming in for all of my kids that are out there. All my kids, grandkids are all going to get one of these. Not That's not true of every coin set that I sell that's true of this set that you see right here. It is numismatically significant. It is historically significant. It's collectibly significant. It's uh, significant by grade. It's significant by exclusivity because it's perfect. And then you have this entire set that's done in this first release annex that you can get one single solitary place on the planet. And that is right here at HSN, period. This is the place. If you don't buy it here, you do not own this set. Look, I didn't have to add in the 1921 Morgan into this deal. One of the original Morgan silver dollars in brilliant uncirculated condition, which, by the way, in and of itself, even in mid-state 64 or 5, is a $200, $250 coin. As they say, legends of the Comstock load is what that is, brilliant uncirculated. And what that refers to is the Carson City coin, See, the Comstock load was the greatest discovery of silver on, on the planet today. There was so much silver in Comstock, uh, the Comstock load, which was outside of Carson City, Nevada. They literally built a mint at Carson City just to turn that silver into coins rather than ship the silver elsewhere. And so most of the silver coins that were made, many of the silver coins that were made by the United States Mint in that time were from silver from the Comstock load. And that's why we called that Legends of the Comstock load. That is basically the Morgan Silver Dollar is the Legends of the Comstock load. Just a tremendous opportunity to own history, to own perfection, to own completeness. And then with that seventh coin that you come in with that, you're less than four hundred dollars a piece. It is numismatic history. Please, please, please participate. Well, people are, are responding, Mike. Uh, in fact, a good portion of, I know we debuted it tonight, but a good portion of the entire inventory has already been spoken for. Yes, interest-free payments on your major credit card, debit card, PayPal, whatever you got. Um, if you do have an HSN card, however, you can create 18 flex pays or 18-month VIP financing, in which case you'd be looking at a little over $140, $141.66 to be exact. Of course, all qualifying for our extended holiday return policy. There's such a cachet around the, surrounding this collection. Certainly, anytime I hear Mike say, not only does he have it in his collection, this is what he is, for, you know, kind of paying forward as a legacy series for his beloved family members. That should certainly go a long way to telling you that's definitely a coin that you should take some serious interest in or at least pay some serious attention to. So hopefully that is what you're doing. Hey, Mike, when we were um, talking last hour, in case people missed it, now this is the advanced order, the advanced purchase. Kevin, we have what, fewer than 100? We've only got a couple dozen of those, right? Okay, uh, fewer than 100, couple, couple dozen. Mike, in case people missed it, this is another one last. Final quantities for, well, forever, not just for the year, right? Forever, yeah. Yeah, because this is my exclusive holder that you see right there, uh, my NGC exclusive holder with the with the two faces, the face of the Peace Dollar and the face of the Morgan Silver Dollar that you see. These are my advanced release coins. I was one of the dealers that get uh, that gets advanced release coins from the United States Mint, which represented only about 10%, not mine, but in total, it was 10% of all the vintage of those. So they represent very, very special coins that are in that. And so that's the entire six coin set in my exclusive NGC holder uh, that you see right there. And, and I put my advanced release coins into that, uh, into that specialized holder that you see right there. So uh, spectacular, and that's why uh, that's that's why we were able to do that particular set that you have right there at thirty-five ninety-nine ninety-five. 
I don't remember. In fact, I think, Kevin, that one also qualifies for 18-month VIP, doesn't it? Okay. So there is 18-month VIP financing on that one as well. All right, hard to believe all good things must come to an end. This is the final 31 minutes of our Coin Collector Series for the rest of 2021. Mike is going to have some amazing things coming up. Of course, New Year's Eve is one of those days that we look forward to see what just what he has up his sleeve. But in the meantime, I just really want to encourage you to take a few moments to listen and learn about what we have for you over the course of the next, uh, well, 31 minutes. So Michael, we're just talking about Privy Mark and of course the legacy collection or the legacy of the Morgans. So we got uh, some things to talk about with this one. Well, you know, we've had, uh, uh, provided the complete set. There are two coins that stand out from, from the set that are most desirable. And so I pulled out some individual coins to give you the opportunity to own just one coin in the set. But like I said, I get $3,600. Pretty big bite at the apple there, okay? Carson City, this'll be the coin, okay? This'll be the coin. The Carson City Privy Mark out of the Morgan Silver Dollars. So out of the five Morgan Silver Dollars, the two best coins are going to be the Carson City and the New Orleans. There's no doubt about that. So I have just in the Carson City coins, 399 coins. Now, we've already sold about 170 of them. I mentioned them two weeks ago and just on hsn.com. So we're already down under 20 dozen. We're already down under 20 dozen that remain in the Carson City. So if you buy one of the Morgan Silver Dollars, these new 2021 Morgans, if you can add one coin to the collection, it, it, it's this coin. This is the coin that you want to add to the collection, the Carson City. It is going to, I know it has the same mintage as all the other coins. I know it has the same mintage as all the other coins, but, I, I, but, but please understand the cachet of the Carson City dollar is more than any of the other mint marks. It's just the way that it is. And it's because of that, as I was explaining to you, you know, the Comstock load where they literally built the mint there. Everything Carson City is like $1,000 or more in any decent condition whatsoever. There's no high grade Carson City anything that doesn't sell for, you know, ridiculous amounts of money. So to be able to get the highest graded Carson City Morgan silver dollar in existence, in existence for $699 in its first day of issue, which is 100% exclusive to us here at HSN, I just felt was a really unique opportunity. And like I said, we pulled some of these coins out. It literally cost us sets. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't have sets, certain number of sets because of this, but I felt it was so important that we do the Carson City dollar by itself and give everybody the, the opportunity to get the Carson City and the New Orleans set, which I'm going to have here in just one second. <clears throat> I'll give you a minute or two to get the New Orleans as well. I think I did 399 of the New Orleans. It is just, it is just, you get to participate in numismatic history. And look, I understand 699.95, you know, not insignificant by any respect. But when you start talking about thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, literally even millions of silver, uh, uh, millions of dollars for certain uh, Morgan silver dollars, then this right here, I think, is is one of those coins because it is a Morgan silver dollar. It is perfect. It is Carson City. It ticks all the boxes of extreme collectability, extreme collectability. I mean, look at that coin. When we get in close on the other side, you get to see the CC that absolutely most desirable mint mark of all American coins uh, uh, that we've ever had. And so that's what your chance is right there. You can get it right here, right now. Well, and again, once more, only based on the availability that we have. Um, Kevin, I think you told me, Kevin's my producer, there is 18-month VIP financing. Uh, I was surprised only in as much as, um, you know, with some of our other considered purchases from, you know, from the Carson City Mint with that privy mark, at those price points, the 18-month VIP financing, I'm just surprised that we've got it on a 699 uh, selection for you. I mean, that's just another added incentive for you. And then, of course, flex pay, interest-free payments, and, of course, our unconditional money-back guarantee as part of our holiday until January 31st. So, Mike, they actually were, they were sneaking another coin under the set here that we wanted to remind me of. So what am I looking at? Uh, so, it's the Omer. Uh, the, oh, the New Orleans? It's the New Orleans. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah, the New Orleans, man. 
So they also, the, the New Orleans Mint, like I said, they made Morgan Silver Dollars at the New Orleans Mint from 1879 to 1904. They made coins at the New Orleans Mint. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the New Orleans Mint, which has been closed for some time, is the only United States Mint that was actually operated uh, technically by three countries. It made coins for the United States. The French actually took over the New Orleans Mint for a bit and made uh, uh, made coins there. And then during the Civil War, the Confederacy made coins at the New Orleans Mint as well. So uh, an incredible history of the New Orleans Mint. And so uh, once again, also some of the New Orleans Mint coins, some of the great rarities in, in, in modern Morgan collecting. So. In the five Morgan coins that I made at Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, Carson City, and New Orleans, the Carson City coin and the New Orleans coin are going to be by far and away the most collectible and the most desirable of those coins. I don't think there's any doubt about it. First day of issue, available 100% exclusively from us here at HSN. You can't get it anyplace else. So like I said, $699.95, great, great, great opportunity for you to be able to pick that coin up. Just want to give you a quick look at that one. As well. Love that. I was hoping that you'd share that information about the New Orleans man. I just thought that was really uh, fascinating just because... You know, that's a legacy within a legacy, if you want to think of it that way. All right, well, definitely right. consider it for yourself because there, once more, only a couple hundred to go around. So uh, at this point now, we're in the final 25 minutes for the year in terms of what Mike has scheduled for shows. Uh, that's pretty remarkable when you think about it. I don't know where has the year gone. Where's the time gone? Mike's been here for over two decades in the industry, several decades. I've known him for, for several decades. So remember, the other great thing about this is uh, HSN is not going going anywhere you're not going anywhere Mike I mean although you always say if you're doing this 25 years from now uh, then I want to know where that picture of Dorian Gray you have is in your home um, but but it is important that people understand when we talk about these collections they really are the integrity the value the the chain of authenticity I mean you've got those big green boxes next to you there are a lot of things that set you and us apart in the world of coin collecting and uh, I, you said it's kind of our lead in here certainly talking about your history here in HS in, but this is the anniversary collection. So now was the anniversary, was that a descriptor or a designator from the Mint? Or is that something what you guys came up with? Or how did that come about? From the Mint. From the Mint. Well, it's the 100th anniversary. It's, yeah, it's sure. just a descriptor. And, and so all of those certified coins that you saw right there, this is one of those coins that's not certified. So it's a 2021 Morgan Silver Dollar. So just like all those cool new 21, 20, it's one of those. And then an original, you got to tilt that down just a little bit so we can see the dates. Like I said, uh, tilt the whole thing down. There you go, right there. And then push the coins back so that they don't glare. There we go. Okay. So it's a, a 2021 Morgan. So one of the five 2021 Morgans that you see right there. And a 1921 Morgan. This goes back to, and we put them in air tights that you see right there so you can see them. This goes back to what you talked about earlier, where we're trying to put together a collection that's approachable for everybody. So we've talked about this incredibly historic event, the new Morgan Silver Dollar. We've talked about how it commemorates the 100th anniversary of the Morgan Silver Dollar. Oh, that looks lovely right there. Uh, uh, the Morgan Silver Dollar. So this is it kind of encapsulated. So it's not certified, it's not that, but you can see the coin looks absolutely positively perfect. I mean, it's gorgeous, it was just made, you know? And then it also comes with an original, if we go next door to that, a 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar. So you get the two coins that are 100 years apart. The original 1921, and that's not reprinted, restruck, or redone. That's an original, brilliant, uncirculated Morgan Silver Dollar. It's gorgeous. It's stunning. It's spectacular. It's 100 years old. And then you get the one from this year. So you get the you get the bookends, if you will, of the Morgan Silver Dollar. So you have this 100-year hiatus of the Morgan Silver Dollar. Well, these are the coins that bookend those two coins. So it's the brand new Morgan. Like I said, just not certified 70. And I didn't figure, I said, look, I could have certified at 70 because I mean, they're gorgeous, just look at them. But I couldn't certify the 21 in 70. So what I wanted to do, and then of course, if you certify it, it costs more money and, and all that. And so I wanted to keep this price as low as humanly possible. 
I mean, the 1921 Morgan's the better part of a $150 coin or so. That makes this Morgan 250 bucks at the most. So you're looking at the pair of these, the original 1921 and one of the brand new 2021s for $419.95. I mean, it's a great opportunity to be able to get these. It's a great opportunity. So now you've got this history in your hand. It's my most, uh, it's my most approachable price, if you will. So I have these Morgan Silver Dollars, and, you know, we sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sets at $3,600 a piece, okay, at $3,600 a piece. And then we have these other sets, and I just think I sold 100 of them at about $2,500 a piece. And, 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 you know, we have the auto ships and all that, and someone said, well, you know, I, I want to I I, I join in, okay? I, I, I want these coins in my collection, so this is the way that I made it most affordable, and, and, and it makes the most sense. It's a cogent collection. And the fact that you have the original, the last Morgan Silver Dollar ever made, and now the last Morgan Silver Dollar ever made, okay? Right there, the last and the last. Because uh, uh, everybody assumed, of course, the 1921 would be the last. The United States government has done centennial, um, uh, uh, centennial things with the United States Mint in the, in the past, okay? But they've done them like they did the Standing Liberty Quarter, but they did it in gold. They did the Kennedy Half Dollar, they did it in gold. Uh, they did the Mercury Dime, but they did it in gold. This is the first time that they kept the, the metals the same. Something I want to show you where, where, where we see the real difference. If we can go to the 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar that you see there and get in real close on that. I want to show you a very cool thing. It's the difference in technology. If you can, get in close, as close as you can on the stars on the left-hand side of the coin. If you look at the stars on the left-hand side of the coin, it looks like there's a line that connects those stars. Yeah. That's a that's a die break. Oh. So they made they used the dies till they shattered basically. Wow. And so that die was starting to crack. And they were still making coins with it because I mean, you know, it was just such an exacting process to make huh. a coin die. So that particular coin has got a die crack in it right there that run up the, that runs up the stars there, uh, which is kind of cool. So you see kind of some of those interesting things in some of the older coins. Now go next door to the 2021. No die cracks in that one. As a matter of fact, nothing in that one. It's perfect. That's the way you'd hope that coin would look. Now the other coin has a little character and such to it, but that coin right there is stunning. When George T. Morgan sat at his engraving studio and suite at the United States Mint in the 1870s and was hand carving the Morgan silver dollar, that's what it looked like. And that's what you get. That's the Morgan silver dollar as envisioned by George T. Morgan, which is why it's called the Morgan silver dollar, as he literally had a, a school teacher sitting in his studio who he crafted her, used her, her as the model for that. OK, he used her for the model to make that coin as she's in the studio and he's carving the coin. That's what he envisioned. That's what he looked like. And then in 1921, if you look at the coin next to it, that was the best we could do with technology that's 100 years ago. So we have those coins. So we have one of the brand new sold out limited edition 2021 Morgan Silver Dollars. We have the 1921 sold out limited edition Morgan Silver Dollar as well in brilliant uncirculated condition. They're both in brilliant uncirculated condition. Of course, the right coin is like probably mint state 69, mint state 70 in that coin. It's just one of the original coins from the United States Mint we just didn't certify. So we just got one from the United States Mint. It's most likely, more, more likely than not, a mint state 70 coin, uh, but no worse than mint state 69. That coin's going to be about mint state 62 or mint state 63. Anything more than that, once you get up to mint state 64, mint state 65, now you're starting to look at kind of silly money. Uh, you know, now you're looking at thousands of dollars just for that side of the coin. So spectacular opportunity for you to be able to get those coins. I suspect we have a display box of some kind that goes with that. Okay, Mike, now you're scaring me because that's that's literally yeah. what I was getting ready to do. I'm like, oh, we should probably, <laughs> you know, show that. Can we put them in the box so we can show people what they look Absolutely. like? Just grab you know the coins and just okay. kind of fit them right on in there. We're almost okay. out of time. All right. Ah! Yeah, they should just. Pressure's there on, There you go, right? just like that. Yeah, there you go. There we go. And so that's how they'll come to you. Isn't that spectacular? Yep. Only right, so um, it's called a steel case. 
Uh, I, I did it haphazardly. Yours will look better than what yes, I just... Yes, I understand that, but you don't have to do that. People can change them. They pop right True. out. You can put them back in. You do front and back. You can alternate them. You can that. do whatever you want, but it's a nice steel case presentation box so that when you get it, it's, you know, and they're protected in uh, airtight holders. So great presentation for it uh, as well. So now you can hold, literally, you can hold history in, the, in your hands right there. Uh, great opportunity. A 1921 Morgan, one of the brand new 2021 Morgans, only four nineteen ninety five. dollars It reminds me of the, the gift case in Pretty Woman, you know, where they've got the necklace. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> you can do all that all you want because they're yours. Uh, only if you're selecting it now, though, just a few dozen of those uh, remain, or a couple hundred, that's it. And then, of course, we do have 12 month VIP financing on that as well. So that puts it in, sorry, following the teleprompter, $35 on your HSN card. And then, of course, we do have that apply and buy as well. Um, $40 off is actually, on your first purchase upon approval, is actually our largest promotion that we do on our HSN card. Hey, Adam's getting ready for his open house. I love Adam so much. I know he's got a busy show planned. Um, I heard a rumor he's got hot sauce in his show. And so I am going to be stalking the open house show with Adam because I'm a hot sauce connoisseur. And then of course, Suzanne will have our last look at our today's special, plus it is a big crafting event. So we've always got great things going on here at HSN and hard to believe, of course, all good things must come to an end. Last 15 minutes for the year, final 15 minutes for the year with Mike Mizak and the coin collector. Of course, he'll be back next year. We always look to see what he does on New Year's Eve. In the meantime, though, when I was talking about how the decades of, of years that Mike has been here and the decades beyond that, that he's just been offering great coin collectors and collectibles for collectors, this is what holds a place of fondness in our heart as show hosts, what we, we affectionately call the wall of coins. And we so rarely get to do them, you know, anymore. And Mike, you, you, you often say, and so well said, this is your chance to really kind of collect your coins like a, like a coin collector or a coin dealer. And this, so, because you have to not only have the collections, because a lot of people break these apart because it just makes more sense that you would break it apart. And then I know you'll do some of the coin by coin selections that you do. But can I just be honest with you? Well, you know, let me ask you sure. this. How, why is this only $299? No, I'm serious uh, about that. I the mean, more, the I'm serious. The Morgan silver dollars we just sold. That's oh, why. No kidding. Because everybody's spending all their money on that. Oh. So they got to have money, right? Yeah. So it's like, I got all these proof sets. What do you give me for them? And so I'm like, okay, well, you know, I can use proof sets. So uh, how about this? Yeah, okay. So I can do, instead of $3.99 or $4.99, I can do $2.99. Huh. Okay. So so basically, I'm about 10 bucks a year for original United States government issued proof sets. So the United States government started making proof sets in 1936. From 1936 to 1964, they made them at the Philadelphia Mint. Starting in 1960, and they didn't make any proof sets from 65, 66, or 67. In 1968, they, moved the, they had moved the proof making capacity of the US Mint to the San Francisco Mint, where they have made them ever since. This is the first quarter century of original United States government issue proof sets as made by the San Francisco Mint in the original government packaging with the original government boxes. A proof set from the United States Mint today, I think with shipping and handling is $40 for this year. This is 1968. By the way, 68, 69, and 70, all those Kennedy half dollars are silver, by the by. Okay, by the by. Those right there, those three Kennedy half dollars, 68, 69, and 70, over $100 value for those three coins, 68, 69, 70. So the first 25 years of the San Francisco Mint, one of the uh, San Francisco Mint proof sets. And so I have every single solitary. Now, right there, starting in 1971 that you see right, or sorry, 1973, they started putting Eisenhower silver dollars in the proof sets. So we have 73, 74, 75 and 76, by the way, 75 and 76, by the way, are both bicentennial coins, uh, Eisenhower's type one, type two. Then we have 77, 78. And then, of course, then the Susan B. Anthony dollars in 70, 78, 79 and 80. <clears throat> and then we go forward from there. So every coin in the original government packaging. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I say you, you buy it like a coin dealer. And, and people say, what do, you, what do you even mean by that? I'll tell you what I mean by that. 
Queen dealers tend not to sell proof sets like that because the way they sell them is individually. You buy the sets, you crack them open, you sell the coins individually. I have here one of the largest in, uh, largest coin catalogs in the world right here. When I was a kid, I was buying from these people. That's how long they've been around. Coin by coin, the half dollars in that set are $299.95. Oh, just, wow. oh, wow. just the half dollars. Just the half dollars. The Eisenhower dollars and the Susan B. Anthony dollars are another $200. Oh, my goodness. The pennies are $200 out of that set. The pennies are $200. All those pennies in those in those purple packs down there, you see? I mean, uh, starting in 92, those purple purple pack pennies, $13, $18.50, $12, $15, $12, $13, $11, $11. I mean, pennies are expensive. So at the end of the day, coin by coin, and I can read them off all day long, coin by coin, this isn't $299 or $399 or $499 or $599, $699, $799, $899, $899 even $999 is over $1,000 on a coin by coin basis because that's what they do. And here's the thing I can guarantee for you. These sets get rarer and rarer every single solitary day. So my warehouse, I have a big warehouse full of proof sets. We probably open those proof, and by opened, I mean destroy. We take those proof sets, you wrap them up in a towel, and you take a hammer and you smash the four corners and you lift them apart. And then we take the coins, put them in nice little holders and sell the coins individually. Probably today at my warehouse, we destroyed 250 proof sets. Because what happens is, is I bought all the proof sets for this deal and the dimes tarnished, okay? The penny spotted. Uh, the Kennedy half dollars got something wrong with it. Because what I save for these are only the sets that are beautiful, only the sets that are put together, that all the coins look nice. And I know some of the packages have a little crease there, but let's look at that. Look at that, okay? So it has that little crease in the left-hand corner. That's cardboard. OK, that's cardboard that is 50 years old. We're lucky we have the cardboard. OK, that was made over a half century ago. This is 2021, folks. That's an original United States government issued proof set as packaged by the United States Mint from 1968. These have been sold out limited editions for over a half century. You get it in the original government packaging, just like the way they made it for not much more than they charged originally in 1968, 69, 70, 71. That 1970 Kennedy half dollar, one more, keep going one more over that Kennedy half dollar right there. $42.50. Oh, wow. $42.50. But even if you go, the 1971, the one right next door to that, used to be a cheap little coin, right? Not going to happen anymore. Just the half dollars, nine ninety five, ten bucks, ten bucks, eleven bucks, ten bucks. I mean, the Kennedy half dollars are well over ten dollars a piece. Two hundred ninety nine dollars just for the Kennedy half dollars individually. If you're a Kennedy half dollar collector, how about you buy this set? You can break them all out and you get it for two hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. Do whatever you want for the rest. The pennies at two hundred dollars. The nickels are one hundred and twenty five dollars. The dimes are one hundred dollars. The quarters are one hundred twenty dollars. The silver dollars that are in there the silver dollars that are in there just the eisenhower dollars can we start 1973 the first big round coin uh the top top row far right that's a 1973 eisenhower dollar 26 dollars and 50 cents wow 26 dollars and 50 cents you go down to the 1974 23 75 and then if you can go down to the 1975 set if you can so it's going to be 73, 74. It's going to be the second coin in on the right. There you go. And then look at the one right next to it. That's 75. Go right next door. The set right next door to it. Notice they're both bicentennial sets. Oh, yeah. The bicentennial did not take the United States Mint by surprise. We saw it coming for like 200 years. So they made the coins for two years. They made them in both 75 and 76. 
The silver dollars are slightly different. So you have type one and type two bicentennial, type one and type two bicentennial uh, proof Eisenhower dollars. You need both of them to complete your set. You need both of them to complete your set. Now, here's the problem. And you said this before, Shannon. People wait till the end. It's a great story. You get them all in the original government packaging. They're about $10 a set across the board. I have 150 sets to go around. Now's when people just start firing in. Now they're everybody's dialing. Oh, my goodness. And we're down to, I'm taking a look here. We're down to probably 120 sets. I got maybe 10 dozen of these. Normally, I have 300 or 400 or 500 or 600. I got 150 sets to last. My final uh, deal for the holiday that I have right here. What a perfect holiday gift. My final show from the first 25 years that the San Francisco Mint made the proof sets. They make them today. The proof set, the 2021 United States government issue proof set was made at San Francisco. The 2022 proof set from the United States government will be made at San Francisco. They've made them every year since 1968. This is just the first 25 years. I think I have fewer than 10 dozen sets now remaining. I have fewer than 10 dozen sets now remaining. The calls are starting to fire in. Folks, last minute, last look, last call. Buy them like a coin dealer, coin by coin, way well over a thousand dollars you get the entire deal only 299.95 25 brand new original sold out limited edition united states government issue proof sets okay it's a good thing we only have 60 seconds le remaining in the year with mike because i'm because you get all of this <laughs> okay you get the wall of coins the wall you, you get all of this right. for $74.99 and still that extended holiday return policy, interest-free payments. You're going to have to strike while the iron is hot. You're going to have to do this pronto. Uh, I'm just telling you, I, we have as many people calling as we do have quantities remain. And incidentally, we're not limiting quantities. So th they could conceivably even be gone now. We don't know that because some people do buy, because you're buying like a coin dealer. Some people are buying more than one set. So uh, hopefully you're able to do that. We'll let you know when it's gone. Well, it's not, it's it's not uh, if, it's going to be when it's gone. So hopefully you're calling to get yours. Um, Kevin, do we have time to do one more quick little reminder? Um, uh, okay, so Mike, I can't say from here. Is this the advanced order? Or which, what are we going to remind everybody about? Uh, Oh, yeah. oh, Mike, this was actually one of, the most, yes, this was one of the most popular opportunities that we had this whole show. It's, it's really a wonderful way to get in on that, that Morgan and Peace, um, you know, the 1921 and the 2021, right? Right, you have the 2021 set put out by the government, all five coins from all five mints, Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, Carson City, and New Orleans, all certified perfect 70. The 2021 peace dollar, the rarest peace dollar ever done by the United States government, also mint state 70. So the complete six coin set, which kind of lots of folks are doing, although not for this price, at 25, uh, 25 49.95, we've also included a brilliant uncirculated original, a stunner too, very nice coin, mint state 63 or better that you're gonna to have right there 1921 brilliant uncirculated original morgan silver dollar that was the last one they made until these were the last ones that they were uh, uh made right there i think just truly a spectacular opportunity that is history right there this is exclusive to us here at hsn you cannot get this any place else 100 percent exclusive it is the great holiday gift like i said get the proof sets get this but uh get some coins look if you're going to collect something everybody collects something might as well be money. Might as well be money. Uh, well said as always, Mike. Uh, remember, we are down to the final quantities there. Well, I guess, uh, so it, it's New Year's Eve, the start of 2022 that you'll be back, correct? Yes, that's correct. We'll be back New Year's Eve day for the uh, brand new 2022 American Silver Eagle. It's my traditional today's special value. You, you bet. Well, Mike, best to you and your family. All of our love here. Continue to be Thanks. safe. Um, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, Mike. Um, of course, Adam's coming up next with Open House. And uh, I'm Shannon. I hope you can join me in the kitchen this Friday. Normally, I'm either in the house or in the kitchen on Fridays at 7 o'clock. But this week, we have a jam pack that's going to be 24 hours of cooking here at HSN. It's our, our biggest, I think our biggest ever Let's Cook event. Emerald is back. Wolfgang is back. Curtis Stone is back, plus some new faces. Uh, I'm going to be whipping up a storm. Um, a little meatless Monday recipe coming after the show. Adam, it's coming up next. Stay tuned. What really separates a house from a home? A home should provide comfort, coziness, 
and convenience. Join me on Monday nights where I'll be giving you great ideas for your home, your kitchen, and your life. At HSN, we love our crafters. So we're bringing you top-rated picks crafters love. It was so easy to use. Plus, experts will share their top tips. Join us on our next craft event tonight. Tis the season to be a VIP. Use your HSN card to get the best deals on gifts for everyone. Shop now for the holidays and pay over time with ExtraFlex or VIP financing on every item and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Plus, the HSN card has no annual fee. Not a card member? Apply now and instantly get $40 off when you're approved. Visit hsn.com slash hsncard or call 1-800-695-1418 for details.